Sa kakatapos nga po ng bakbakang Astro Labio at Junto na Katani, na kung saan niya muling nakalasap ng kabiguan ng mga buksingero nitong MP Promotion, ay halos nga po naubusan na ng pambaro itong si Manny Pacquiao sa Bantamweight Division mga idol. Dahil sa nagsisipagluhuran ang ating mga kababayan sa kanilang mga hapon na nakalaban. Ngayon mga idol sa video pong ito ay atin pong tatalakayin. Sa kung paano nga ba nadadapuli itong ating mga kababayan sa kanilang mga nagiging laban sa Japan, partikular na sa kanilang nagiging pangunahing pagkatalo sa laban, at ito na nga ay ang body shot. Kung atin pong titignan ang mga kakayahan itong ating mga kababayan, sa pagdideliver ng malalakas sa suntok ay malalakas naman po talaga itong mga suntok ng kanilang pinakakawalan at nakasasabay sa kalaban. Kaya lamang po kasi mga idol, eh sa palakasan po kasing ito ay hindi lamang puro opensa ang pwedeng maging batayan sa laban. Ito po'y dahil sa ang pinakaimportante sa lahat ay yung depensa ng isang buksingero. At sa kung gaano nga ba ito katatag tumanggap ng malakas na sunto. Sa usaping boxing kasi mga idol ay hinding hindi talaga pwede mawala na matatamaan ka ng direktang suntok ng iyong kalaban. Sa akin po kasing nakikita ngayon mga idol, ay palaging nakatutok sa open sa itong ating mga kababayan at game plan na kanilang ihahain sa laban. Nakakalimutan na nila ang pinakaimportante sa lahat at yon ay kung makakayanan nga ba nitong ating kababayan na matagalan at tanggapin ang suntok ng kalaban. Kung bagay sa po ito sa basic fundamentals ng boxing at yon ay ang depensa at katatagan ng isang buksingero. Ngayon ay alam na po kasi ng mga hapon na ang katawan ng mga Pinoy ang pangkaraniwan itong kahinaan. At sa naging laban ni Astrolabio at Nakatani, ay malaya pong binigay ni Astrolabio ang game plan na patatamaan nitong si Junto Nakatani. Dahil sa palagi po kasing nakataas ang guard nito at ingat na ingat na matamaan ang itaas na bahagi ng kanyang katawan. Ngayon ay papaano nga ba bumagsak si Astrolabio at papaano nga ba natalo ang ating kababayan sa isang suntok ng kalaban? Kung sinabi naman itong si Coach Nuno Ineri na hindi gan galakasan ang suntok ng isang Junto na katani. Kapaliwanag ko pong maigay mga idol sa kung paano dinuminan nitong si Junto na katani ang ating kababayan. At dahil nga po sa palagi pong nakataas ang guard nitong si Astrolabio, ay kaya naman ito ang kadalasang binabanatan agad ng suntok ni Nakatani. Para sa gayon ay doon matuon ang depensa ni Vincent Astrolabio. At nung maramdaman na ni Nakatani na nakatuon na ang focus ng depensa ni Astrolabio dito sa itaas na bahagi ng kanyang katawan, ay sumuntok muna ito ng isang kanang jab sa mukha ni Astrolabio para sa gayon ay dumipensa ito. At doon na niya isinabay ang diretsyong kaliwang suntok sa bodega ng ating kababayan. Hindi lubos sa kalain ni Astrolabio na bibira sa katawan itong si Nakatani. At dahil nga sa hindi nakita nitong si Astrolabio ang suntok na iyon, dahil sa pagdidepensa niyang ginawa sa kanyang muka, ay kaya naman po yung masasabi ko na doble ang sakit noon dahil sa hindi nakita ni Astrolabio ang suntok na binato nitong si Nakatani. Ngayon mga idol, wala po talaga tayong kapakapag-asa na manalo at maging kampiyon dito sa Bantamweight Division. Kung ganitong estilo pa rin ang gagamitin natin laban sa mga hapon. Ngayon mga idol, para sa akin, ay kung ang estilo ng Manny Pacquiao po kasi talaga ang gagamitin ng ating mga kababayan sa magiging laban nila sa mga hapon, ay malaki po ang chance na nating makasilat sa laban. Kaya naman ito ang iyahain ko po sa inyo mga idol, ang laban na kung saan ni nagawang mapagharian ni Pacquiao ang Bantamweight Division. At ito na nga po, ay ang laban nito sa mas eksperyensadong buksingero na si Jorge Julio. At kayo na rin po makapagsasabi mga idol, kung ang estilo nga ba na ito ni Pacquiao, ay kaya nga bang durugin ang mga naglalakihang kampiyon sa Bantamweight Division. He fouled Pacquiao so ruthlessly in San Francisco and... Freddie Roach said to us yesterday, I wouldn't be surprised if Julio tries to do the same doggone thing. Guilt by association, maybe. Or just trying to get Pacquiao ready to be more protected this time, perhaps. Freddie says he would like for Pacquiao to learn to foul a guy back when he fouls him. But Pacquiao's two sportsmen like to do so, he says. Well, I can't imagine anyone fouling me when I were fighting that many times, me not like it one back. Uh, so this must be a real good kid. Big left hand by Pacquiao. Julio stops him in his tracks there with a left-hand counter. 
Both fighters using their jabs early, and uh, I think Pacquiao has already gotten some of Julio's respect for his power. I think so. You can see that Julio has got a concerned look on his face. You see a little bit of strain in his eyes when he gets hit with some of those punches. Pacquiao can punch. When you come up to 122 from 118 and you get Manny Pacquiao in your third fight in the division, you may be biting off something more than you can chew. But Julio has a lot of knowledge and a lot of craft. Oh, big left hand by Pacquiao. And he got countered by a nice left hand counter by Julio. Sometimes the first couple of punches might rock you, but then you taste the power and sort of get used to it, right, Bobby? Well, you know, there are times that you can sort of adjust to it, but if you get caught one of those and you're not looking, I'll tell you what, your legs come right out from under you. When they catch you looking, boy, oh boy, it hurts so much more. Pacquiao with a body shot after missing with the wild right hand. You can see what a big hitter Pacquiao wants to be. Throws every punch with aggressive intentions. Julio, a little bit more of a change-up artist, and holding his own now after a rough first minute. One of the things, there's a beautiful straight left hand by Pacquiao, but one of the things that's helping Julio is that jab. It's all setting the combinations of Pacquiao. Hold on, hold on. Put your head. Put your head. Pacquiao saying it was an elbow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep up. And there's a low blow. So already an elbow and a low blow from Julio making contact with Pacquiao, and that's exactly what Freddie Roach suggested he thought might be the case. Punch that hard as Pacquiao is. Takes a lot of energy to start those punches. Oh, that's a huge left hand shot. Oh, no, 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 no. And the right hand don't shot. Knock don't knock down. Don't pull him down, Manning. As I was saying, you know. it takes a lot of energy to start those punches. If you don't hit something, Punch it takes the same down. amount of energy to Ten stop seconds. them. And you could get prematurely fatigued. You have to make those punches hit something. Body shot by Pacquiao. Julio seems a little bit flustered by Manny's power. And the first round comes to a close. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. And when we go to Manny Pacquiao's corner, where they may speak some Tagalog, our interpreter is Ernie Kalu. You see it right there, and he just pulls him down to the ground. Thus the call of no knockdown when Julio went to the canvas. Now round two begins. Another straight left hand by Pacquiao. And you heard Julio's corner saying, hit him in the belly. And down goes Julio. It was a perfect execution of what he was told in the corner. Double jab and throw the left hand. He did it, and look what we see. The Seven. kid listens. Hey, come to me. Bueno. Fuck. Freddie Roach told him to go in behind the double jab and followed him with the left hand. He did it twice in a row in the second one. Drop Julio. This is some prospect, Bobby. Two, to me, he's three. every bit as exciting as Prince Four. Nassim Hamed. He really is. He can punch. Six. He can take a punch. Seven. He's aggressive. Hey, and he loves to, to fight. You okay? Second knockdown of Julio. No three knockdown rule in effect. I think Julio's gonna have trouble finishing this round, I really do. Julio trying to fight his way back. A little grabbing and holding might be the thing to do. Pacquiao's just getting ready to swing away again. And Bill Clancy's seen it up. Devastating second round TKO for Manny Pacquiao. What a comeback from the misfortune of San Francisco. Very, very impressive against a fighter who is not that easy to beat. It's not easy to dominate. That I can tell you. I think the most impressive thing was exactly what you pointed out. Freddie Roach calmly said, double jab, and then follow with the left hand. He did, did it in the first 10 seconds, hit him good, followed up with it, and dropped him. And that was the beginning of the end for Julio. This is for your family. The whole world, son. This is for your family. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Pacquiao feeling as though a great weight has been lifted from his shoulder. He made the necessary adjustments. He came out and literally blew Julio out of there. He's dominant at 122. The money would be at 126 with Hamed, Barrera, Morales, and various other good fighters. Here are the knockdowns, Bobby. First knockdown, the jab. That was the second jab with the straight left hand. And here comes the second. Again, the accumulation factor becoming a factor, banging him to the body, staying on top of the body, and then up top again with a straight left hand behind the jab. Eventually, the referee's going to come in here. It's just teeing off on Julio, and Pacquiao definitely, definitely wins this fight impressively. Pacquiao so quick, so aggressive, 
and hurt Julio so much in the first minute of the round that the veteran fighter never even really tried to grab and hold or buy time. You know, I don't know if that was just because he was so hurt or he just wasn't thinking or he just not the type of guy to do that, but he needed to hold on. Let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official particulars on the Pacquiao TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Bill Clancy has to step in and call a halt to this bout. The official time, one minute, nine seconds of round number two. The winner by TKO victory and still the IBF junior featherweight champion of the world, Manny the Destroyer Pacquiao.